In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix some issues with displaying network images using Flutter Web. So you can see right here on the iOS device, I have the app running and displaying three different types of images. If you want to learn more about displaying images in Flutter, go ahead and check out my Flutter images video. But if we run this on the web and you can do that with the Flutter run dash D Chrome, which is choosing the Chrome device. Once that loads up, you're going to see that our network image and our cache network image actually are not displaying. The asset image is displaying fine. This is actually all expected at this point. If we inspect this here, you can see our browser is giving us some errors. And if you look at these errors, you're going to notice we're getting a cores policy, no access control allow origin header. Because we're on the web and the way that Flutter renders these, it's actually not using an HTML image tag, which would allow an image to be displayed if it is from a different origin. So currently our origin is localhost, but the origin of our image is this AWS S3 link. So these don't match and because they don't match, that's why we're getting this cores error. Now there are two main ways we can fix this. The first one is gonna be the simplest one and that is just to change our web renderer when we run Flutter Web. Let's go ahead and close that. And now we're going to rerun the flutter run dash d dash chrome and then we're going to set our web renderer to html so the web renderers there's really two different options there's the html renderer and the canvas kit renderer by default it's going to be set to auto and with auto on desktop it's going to be using the canvas kit renderer so by setting it to html as we just did it's going to always use the html renderer I'll link this down below so you could read more about the renderers, but basically the difference is, is the HTML renderer is going to optimize the download size, but the canvas renderer is going to optimize the performance. If you do use the HTML renderer, it is going to render your site in full HTML, so it's going to be using those image tags, and you can see this does load up the images as we would expect, and of course our errors are gone for the, the cores errors. So if you're fine using just the HTML renderer, then that is all you really need to do. And if you are deploying this based on the GitHub pages link, using that make file, as I've shown in a previous video, which I'll also link below, the only thing you need to do to get this working on your production build, which we can go visit the production build right here. So currently I have this deployed with the old version, which is not working. And we can see we have basically the same error we had in development with those cores errors. And now if we go back over into our make file, which is what we're using to deploy this build, we can add that same flag here in our flutter build line of our deploy script and we'll just call the web renderer html so if we save this and then rerun the deploy script it's going to redeploy this with that web renderer html and once that finishes deploying we can reload this page up and we'll expect now that the images load which they do so that is one solution and if your app is pretty simple and the images are just kind of being displayed and you're not using them for computational stuff, then that's probably the best solution for you. However, if you do want to be using that canvas kit renderer, which you may choose to use depending on the type of app you have, then let me show you how to actually just fix the cores error. Firstly, I'm going to remove this flag here and then redeploy this so that we'll have kind of the broken example, or at least the example that's using the canvas kit on the browser. And if we actually just run this locally, which we're going to start it over and not use the web renderer, we'll have that issue locally and we can go ahead and fix it both locally and for the production build. So while these are rerunning, we can visit the actual link. So this is the image that I'm trying to display. And you can see this is an S3 image. So I'm gonna be showing you specifically how to set up the course policy on Amazon S3. But if you're using different hosting providers for your images, you should still be able to create a course policy around them depending on where you're hosting your images. And the policy that you write could be exactly the same as what I'm gonna show you here. So starting off, I have a simple Amazon S3 bucket called One Man Startup YouTube. And it just has this one image in it, which is the image course that you see right here. Now this is a public image and that's good. The image can be accessed, but we can add the course policy to our bucket specifically by going to permissions and then scrolling down 
until we find the cross access resource sharing, which is the course setting. Go ahead and click edit on this and let me paste in the policy. So this is our basic policy here. So we're allowing the headers of any. So that's going to allow any type of headers. And then the methods that we're going to allow are get and head. And this is just so that anyone in our loud origins can get access to this or get at the head request, which will just get you the headers from this URL as well. And now the allow origins here, if we want this to work locally, we can add our local URL. But with Flutter, this, this port does change quite a bit. So let's just put localhost and allow anything after localhost. So any type of port after that will work. Then we can just go ahead and save this. And now that we have this policy in place, we should be able to go back over here. And again, the cores was failing. And if we refresh this, you'll see the cores errors are gone and the image does work. However, our production app, which is on this custom domain here, is still going to show the error. And that's because the allowed origin is only localhost right now. So if we edit this again, we can do one of two things. Firstly, you could just allow any origin. So this would kind of basically defeat the purpose of cores. And you're basically saying any website can access this image and display this image. That is one option, especially while testing, it might be easier. So if you did save this with all, then you go back and refresh this you're going to see the images do actually reload and the cores error is gone. However, it is much better to put specifically the URL that you have, and this should be on HTTPS, but you might want to add the HTTP version and the HTTPS version. I'm also going to add back that localhost for this specific image and this specific app. These would be the two options that would be available. So if we go back and refresh this, it still will work because it is set up on this custom domain and it is set up on the localhost domain.